Today I will show you how to create this scatter plot in Microsoft Excel. A scatter plot is used to show whether there is a correlation between two measures. For example, as the study time increases, does the exam score also increase? We will first create a basic chart, add a trend line, and place the markers into two categories with two different colors. And I will show you how to add a trend line for each category, as well as you can add one trend line for all the markers, even though they are in two different categories or two different colors. Let's create the scatter plot from the beginning. The data we will use to create the chart is a list of 30 students with the student name, whether they attended a review session for the exam, yes or no, the number of hours spent studying, and the score. When you create a scatter plot, you select only the numeric data. So ignore the first two columns and select these two columns of numbers, including the column headers. On the insert ribbon in the chart area, insert just a basic scatter plot. If we look at one record, Charlotte spent one hour studying, Excel finds the value one on the X axis. She received a score of 80. Excel finds the value 80 on the Y axis and inserts a marker where these two values intersect and then repeats this for each record in our data. The challenge with a scatter plot is some data points are repeated. These three students each studied for two hours and like Charlotte, they also received an 80. We need a way to show this data point represents one student record, this data point represents three, because right now the circles look exactly the same. The solution is to make the colors transparent. So right mouse click on a data point so they are all selected, format data series. On the formatting panel, go to fill in line and we will format the markers. Keep the circle shape, make it size eight, Fill. If I change this to solid, there is now a transparency setting. Choose a color and adjust the transparency. As I do this, we can see through the markers. So three records with the same data, which are plotted as three circles on top of each other, will appear darker than the one record with just one circle and I will make the border the same color. I am not using transparency for the border, but you may prefer to do so. It would be nice if Excel added axis labels, but that's okay, we can add them ourselves. Select the chart, click this plus sign. Axis labels, both horizontal and vertical. You can either double click on a label and type directly in it, or double click Go to the formula bar, type the equal sign, and click on a cell, like a column header, that contains the text that you want. You can decide, of course, which grid lines you want to keep. Next, I will right mouse click on the Y axis, format axis, change the minimum value from zero to 20 or 30. This sort of zooms in on the chart. The y-axis does not need to start at zero because the distance of each marker from the x-axis is not important. The focus is on the big picture of all the data points. And to help us understand the big picture, let's add a trend line. I will click away from the chart, then select it again, click on the plus sign, insert, for example, a linear trend line, or look at more options. Then format the line by going to fill in line. You may want to change the dash type to solid and change the color. A trend line on a scatter plot helps us understand the relationship between two quantitative or numeric variables, such as the hours spent studying and an exam score. If the markers are clustered closer to the trend line like this, that would indicate a strong correlation. If the markers are further from the line, that indicates a weak correlation. In both examples, the correlation is positive. As the first variable increases, so does the second one. Sometimes the correlation will be negative. As one variable increases, 
the second one decreases. A scatter plot can also help show that there is no correlation. For example, if as the study time increases, the scores remain the same. Back at our chart, our data resulted in a positive correlation. To further analyze this data, we can make the markers different colors based on whether the student attended a review session before the exam, which is indicated here by yes or no. To do this, first add two new columns to the data source. Next, write a formula to place a copy of the score here if the student did attend the review session, and tell Excel otherwise, just treat this cell as if it were blank. And then the second formula will place a copy of the score here if the student did not attend the review session. Any values that say hashtag NA will be ignored by Excel. Copy this to all the rows. Each score appears in exactly one of these two columns. This way, we will still have 30 markers, but they are divided into two data series. Now select the chart. Excel shows us which columns are used in the chart with this highlighting. Let's try extending that selection to include the two new columns. When we do this, the chart automatically updates with a total of three data series, which we can see if we add a legend, the original, and the two new columns we just added. For now, let's remove the trend line, so I will click on it and press delete. We will add it back later. Okay, so right mouse click on any marker, format data series, and on the formatting panel, you can use this drop down menu to select the different series. Attended review session, go to fill in line, select a color, make it transparent, select the border color, and so on. Back to the drop down menu, this time select did not attend review session and assign a different color in transparency. And what about the original data series, the scores for all 30 students? These markers are, I guess, hidden behind the other two series. If I make this marker a different shape and larger, then we can actually see them. But I do not want them to appear at all, so select no marker. I will also remove the scores for all students from the legend. Click on the legend once, then click only on scores and press delete. Now for the cool part. When we click this plus sign, we can add a trend line based on any of the three data series. Next to trend line, click this small arrow and select the type, I will click on linear, and then we are prompted which data series do we want to base the trend line on. Attended review session. Did not attend the review session and even the original trend line based on all 30 markers. Because the data for this column is still part of the chart, we just told it to hide the markers. Right mouse click on a trend line, format trend line. Make sure you have the correct one selected in the menu and then select the same color as the markers for that series. I do not think I want the trend lines in the legend, so I can click on the legend once, click again on each one and press delete. If you decide you do not want a trend line, select it and press delete. Let's make the font larger, the font color black, and add a light gray background to the plot area. What a beautiful scatter plot. It shows there is a positive correlation between the number of hours spent studying and the score on the exam. And no matter how long a student studied, most of the time, students who attended the review session seemed to score higher than those who did not. Again, this is just the big picture, but insights like this can often lead to a more detailed analysis. I hope this was helpful. And if you enjoy learning about working with data, please consider subscribing to this channel.